Our relationship with the University of North Dakota goes back to the early 1900s. At that point in time, they had a very old existing steam plant that was part coal-fired, part natural gas-fired. University has done a tremendous job keeping that plant running over the years. The amount of resources, money, and manpower that it's required and skill to keep that plant running, it's been a drain on the university. Many parts were no longer available. We had to have them special fabricated. It took many men and women the dedicated service that they did to keep that plant running. Every year went by, it became a larger and larger liability risk for the University of North Dakota. There just needed to be a massive investment in that infrastructure and in that facility to solve the long-term problem. It was their worst performing asset on the campus. Failures had been increasing in the years immediately prior to construction. So there was definitely a sense of urgency behind getting the project approved, getting it designed, and getting it constructed. It was a significant challenge to ensure that all of the leaders in North Dakota were knowledgeable about this type of delivery mechanism because it was the first P3 delivery of a steam plant or similar type asset. In North Dakota, we have nominal temperatures of negative 30 during the wintertime and wind chill factor temperatures of up to negative 50 or more. Obviously, heating is extremely important here and it's really a life safety issue in the winter. We had to have it under roof and completely weathered in by November of that year before winter came. So essentially what happened is we were building the building and constructing the steam plan inside the building at the same time. It's a central steam plant that heats the buildings on campus. It should be unseen and unheard and not a concern and not a distraction to university leadership so they can focus on what they do best, which is educating students and providing an environment where the students and faculty and staff can thrive. The actual time frame and budget included the steam plant build, but it also included the steam distribution upgrades and the building mechanical upgrades, of which then we were able to take and realize energy savings to help offset the uh, P3 itself, the actual cost of the build. The facility is state of the art. You couldn't have a more dramatic change. There's a control room that's state of the art. All the automation is incredible. Converting to an all-natural gas steam plant and one that's high efficiency reduced the production of greenhouse gases, CO2, by that campus by 40,000 tons per year. We've reduced the carbon footprint of the university quite substantially, and I think, honestly, that's an important benefit not only to us, but to the greater Grand Forks community. I think the result of having that very open, honest conversation resulted in a project that really was brought in ahead of schedule and on budget. This project from start to finish, I can honestly say has been one of the most well-run, most enjoyable. If you were to map out what a project should look like, this is exactly what you should follow. When you have a leadership team like the University of North Dakota that's aligned, you add to that the best of the best from Johnson Controls to solve a problem and mobilize the community, you can solve just about any problem. They're a great reference, it's a great story, and it continues to be a great story and a great relationship and partnership. As a testimony to the teamwork that the University of North Dakota and Johnson Controls collaborated on, the Association of Physical Plant Administrators is recognizing this project for its innovative features and has given the team an award that we will be recognizing. We're very proud of our relationship with the University of North Dakota and humbled by the award.